So Miller-Urey was a great experiment in origin of life, and it was an important day in origin of life research to be able to take non-amino acids, to take very simple compounds like CO2 and hydrogen cyanide and formic acid and put a voltage across it simulating lightning, even though the concentrations were way higher than you ever could have imagined in a, some prebiotic environment. But e even with that, to be able to put a voltage across and get some amino acids. And at first they thought they had a few amino acids. People have, have reproduced and done that thing and they found uh, many of the amino acids, maybe 18 of them, uh, uh, large numbers of the amino acids. Now, they were all racemic, so they weren't chiral, but nonetheless, it was an important experiment. The problem is that when we try experiments to make amino acids today, so this is 60, 66, 67 years after Miller-Urey, we are still getting vast arrays of, of mixtures here on the amino, in the amino acids. If you set up a highly designed experiment so that you get one amino acids, it's, it's still becoming racemic, and it's not just one, it's, it's, it may be 50% yield, 60% yield, in a very good case, and then you have many other products that are very difficult to separate from. And then when, they, when they'll often do this reaction, they won't even bother trying to separate. They'll buy the pure amino acid, they'll say, there it is, there's the blip. Yes, it has many other things that are there mixed in with it, but we've, we've seen it. Now we'll buy that in pure form and we'll go from there to the next step. But that's cheating because what you couldn't purify, you're asking nature in some prebiotic soup to purify and then go on from there. So you're cheating at each step. It's not right. We do organic synthesis in the lab. Many people do this. And what you do is, is you have to purify at each step. This is the problem with all these intermediates. And you, make, you have to make four classes of compounds. All of them ha have this difficulty in synthesis. So you, you, you have the nucleic acids, you have the carbohydrates, you have the lipids, and you have the proteins. And the proteins come from amino acids. So you have to be able to make the amino acids and you have to be able to hook these together. There are some experiments that, that are recently done to show clever ways of getting them hooked together. But to think that you're gonna get all those intermediates happening, this is in a very different case in a prebiotic mixture. And then you have to get the four classes of compounds. They all have to be chiral. None of, none of that has ever been done in chiral form. You say, well, they were all made mixtures. And so there's, it's just a big, difficult problem even to make the basic building blocks.